This tutorial will show you how to set up a local Streamlit dashboard that summarizes the latest uploaded quant finance and machine learning papers from Archive using Olama. If you aren't familiar, Archive is an online repository where researchers in fields like quantitative finance, machine learning, and statistics upload new research papers. Thousands of new papers are posted each day, making it an excellent resource to discover cutting-edge ideas that have yet to be widely adopted or shared. Learning about the latest technologies or methodologies for quant finance can give you a leg up in trading or investing, especially if you're an early adopter. I'll show you how to create a local web app that fetches the latest papers, generates concise single sentence summaries for each paper, and displays everything neatly in your browser. This project uses Olama, which allows you to run open source large language models directly on your computer for free without any API keys or rate limits. We'll be using Google's Gemma 3 model, which is one of the best open source models available right now. But you can alternatively use other models, such as DeepSeq R1 or Microsoft's Phi 4. Let's get started by going to the Olama website and downloading Olama. Follow the installation directions, and then afterwards, open a terminal window on Mac or a command prompt or PowerShell on Windows, and type Olama run Gemma 3 colon 1b. If you want another model, you can pull it using the same Olama pull syntax. Now terminate the current chat process and then type Olama serve. This will ensure that your local Olama server is up and running. Now open up a new terminal window and we'll set up a fresh Python environment for our app with the syntax on the screen. I'll use Conda to create a new environment, but you could alternatively set up a virtual environment. We'll also use pip to install the following libraries. Streamlit, Feed Parser, Pandas, and Requests. Now shift over to your code editor and create a new Python file named app.py. We'll begin by importing the libraries we installed earlier, as well as Python's built-in requests, time, and JSON libraries. Next, we'll set up a few key variables. First, we'll define the URL for our locally running Olama instance. After that, we'll specify which Olama model we'll use, in this case, Gemma3. Finally, we'll list out the URLs of the specific archive RSS feeds we'll be pulling from, which include quant finance, machine learning, and statistics. You could alternatively use this code to pull the latest research from other fields, but the focus here is on quant finance. Next, we'll define two functions that do most of the work for our research newsfeed. The first is for generating a one-sentence summary of the paper through Olama. The second is for fetching the papers through the archive RSS feeds. The first function, called Olama TLDR, takes the text of a paper's abstract and sends it to our local Olama instance. We start by using the request library to create a POST request that includes the Olama endpoint, our chosen language model, and a prompt requesting to the Gemma 3 model a single sentence summary of the abstract text. After making the request, we process the response and extract the model generated summary. The second function, fetch papers, is responsible for retrieving the latest research papers. Using the feed parser library, we loop through the RSS feeds we previously specified and gather the most recent papers. For each paper, we pass its abstract to the Olama TLDR function to create the summary. We also collect the publication date, title, authors, and a link directly to the paper itself. To improve speed and efficiency, we store the data in Streamlit's cache. This will output a data frame of which each row references a single research paper. And that's pretty much it for the functional data processing and analysis. All we need to do now is set up our Streamlit dashboard. We'll start by creating a sidebar that serves as the control panel for the app. First, we'll give it a title. Next, we add a selection box so users can choose the archive feeds they're interested in. By default, we'll select quant finance and machine learning papers, but users can change these settings. Below that, we'll create a slider that lets users specify how many recent papers they'd like from each feed, ranging from 10 to 50 and defaulting to 25. We'll also add a button labeled Refresh Now that clears the cache and fetches fresh data. Then, we call our fetch papers function using the selected feeds and number of papers chosen by the user. We'll also provide a simple text input box to filter the table by keyword, which should help with filtering out non-relevant papers. We can now set the data frame using the streamlit data frame function. 
and also write code to create a download-ready CSV file and place it within the download button function. To get the Streamlit app fired up, you'll need to go to a terminal window, activate your Python environment, and then write Streamlit run, followed by the path to the file. After a moment or two, the Gemma 3 processed summaries of the research papers will be outputted onto the dashboard. We can filter these by using the word trading and identify fresh research papers that are so new that they haven't even been peer reviewed yet. It's now up to you to assess whether they're worth exploring in more detail. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on how to leverage the latest AI and quant finance models and methods.